Welcome back to Flying Dutchman Cards, and today we have a video response for Eddie's Cardboard Chaos. So Eddie lives not too far from me, and we've met up a couple times at a card show and a card shop, which is awesome. And so what he's wanting to see is a human interest story involving a baseball player, or any player, I suppose. So what I did was I chose three different pitchers who retired and then unretired and then retired again. So we're going to start off with none other than Jim Palmer. I got him signed here on this Diamond King from 1982, which is pretty awesome. And he is the three-time Cy Young Award winner in the 70s. He retired in 1984. So he retired in 84. And in 1991, he was a commentator with ESPN and he was feuding with them. He only wanted to sign a, I think he wanted to sign a three-year contract, but they only wanted to offer him one year contract. He decided, you know what? I'm going to try pitching again. So he went to spring training with the Orioles, pitched in a couple of spring training games. At age 45, giving his Hall of Fame career one last go. And then ended up tearing his hamstring. That was all she wrote. So he retired for good at the age of 45. So next one up, we have Dave Steeb. And so he was one of the great pitchers of the 80s. And there is an awesome documentary on Secret Base about him, uh, kind of talking about his um, quest to throw no hitter. He threw a ton of one hitters, a very good documentary if you want to go check that out. And he ended up retiring in 1993. He, he was pitching for the Blue Jays, ended up um, getting released, signed with the White Sox and with the Royals, but didn't really catch on with them. And then he was back with the Blue Jays in 1998 as a coach and he decided, you know what, I'm going to want to try this uh, pitching thing here a little bit. He went to the minors, got back in shape, and pitched 19 games in 1998. I can't tell you how much I never believed I'd see this again, but Dave Steve, who owns uh, just about every career mark in Toronto Blue Jay franchise history, has been purchased from AAA Syracuse, and he's on the mound working in the ninth inning at 41 years of age, Jim, and uh, Dave Steve back in the baseball pitching business. Now, you're right. The wins, 174, 2,822 innings, 1,631 strikeouts. Pitched 30 shutouts, and I'll tell you what, he had as good a slider and a good sinker. Changeup was his third pitch. Right fielder, number what Jim, you are about this. You uh, attempted uh, something of the same ilk and tried to come back at... Uh, I was a little bit older. I was about five years older. I'd been out seven years. He was out five. A lot of people asking me about that. And, you know, it was a nice month and a half, two month ordeal. Yeah. And if you're a former major league pitcher, you always have that focus. Your next start, your next year, and whatever, and you miss that. And then he decided, you know what? Um, I think this is good enough. So hung up the cleats once again. And so he retired for the second time then. So then the last one that we have is Jose Rijo. So I got two of his autographs, one here on an 89 Opeachy and then a 2015 fan favorites. And so he won two games in the 1990 World Series sweep of the Reds against the Athletics. The interesting part, he was actually, at the time, married to Juan Marichal's daughter. And so it's kind of interesting. And Juan Merrill shows actually, I think he's part of the front office for the A's at the time. And so there's this clip of him walking in with Juan Merrill and they were, you know, rivals, but also family at the same time. Take a look at Jose arriving at the ballpark. He got some last minute encouragement from his father-in-law, Hall of Famer Juan Merrill, and a kiss from his wife, the former Rosie Merrill. Juan Merrill, ironically, is on the A's payroll as their chief uh, Latin American scout. That's kind of an interesting side note. Uh, so Jose Rijo went on and pitched for the Reds for a bunch of years. And in 1995, he ended up having Tommy John surgery. None other than Tommy John. He um, rehabbed that year, ended up having two more shoulder surgeries in 1996, and then a fourth surgery in 1997. So he was out all of 95, 96, 97, uh, 98, 99. He was like, you know what? I'm just, this is not working for me. I'm going to take a back seat here he kept trying to come back in 2000 he took the whole year off and but in 2001 he actually appeared on the hall of fame ballot and received a vote and then so that would have been in like january february march he decided to make one more comeback with the reds and he made the team pitched in 2001 and 2002 and in 2002, he had nine starts and 22 games as a reliever. That offseason, though, he needed another surgery. 
and he decided, you know what, it is time to call it quits. So he retired for a second time. Well, there we go. If you wanna check out the video that I did last year for Eddie about another comeback story about Dave Dravecki, you can click on that link there. And also, yeah, make sure to check out Eddie's channel. He's got all kinds of awesome content. And uh, yeah, thank you for putting on this giveaway. And thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.